Yo guys, what's going on? We got some Battle of Omega leaks uh, for you guys today. These are such awesome cards. There have been so many cards revealed recently, and I'm on DigimonCard.dev right now, and you can see all these are all the cards currently in the set. We've got a lot of cards from the past couple of days. We've got the White Tamers, we've got the new Agumon Gabumon, as well as now we've got the cards like Shoutmon, D-Cross, we've got a new Metal Gurumon, we got Omnimon Zwart. So there's just so many amazing cards, and let's just go ahead and see what these guys do so for the guys i want to talk about first of all are um zeke graymon and omnimon or sorry i said omnimon shout one d cross dude i'm so excited for these guys i love crosswords or digimon fusion if you watch the dub and it's so cool to see um, how these cards are being implemented in the game. So first of all, we got Shoutmon here, and he is a level 6, but you can actually Digivolve him from a level 6, right? If you go from 5, he's a 4 cost, but if you go from a 6, it's a 2 cost. And I, I think this might be a little bit of a problem. Like, I, I don't think it's too broken just for that. Like, his effect isn't ridiculous or anything, right? They have this new effect um, being translated as either Blitz or Charge or whatever, where this Digimon can attack even if the memory is at, you know, 1 or higher on your opponent's side. So even even if it's technically not your turn anymore, this guy can actually still attack. Um, and Zeke Greymon over here gives him the inherited effect where, you know, if that Digimon has that Blitz ability, they can attack your opponent's unsuspended or your the opponent's active Digimon, which is pretty crazy. Um, and so Zeke Greymon, same thing, he has that Blitz effect. But Shoutmon D Cross is really cool because you can evolve him from a 6. And it, I don't think there's any restriction on that because, like, he's a 6 himself, so you could technically, like, go Shoutmon on top top of Shoutmon on top of Shoutmon and just keep going like that and I think this card might be a little bit ridiculous for Omnimon like um, BT1 Omnimon because Omnimon has the effect where if you're attacking you can unsuspend him by returning a level 6 material to your hand and if you got like three level 6 materials right because you could use something like Shoutmon decrossing you even has this other one digivolving effect where you could place uh, Omega Shoutmon or Z Greymon um, like from your hand to his sources and delete one of your opponent's cards that has 5,000 less DP, and that's like if for each of those sources so you could potentially get two or three level sixes on here and omnimon could attack like in theory like three or four times which is pretty scary like this whole set is just omnimon support um you know we've seen things with like the agumon the gabumon as well uh, and then we got the new metal garumon over here who's really cool uh because he has the effect where you know, if he has Digi uh, Digimon with Garurumon in his name, you can return one of your opponents on deletion Digimon to the bottom of their deck, so then it won't actually delete them. This is really good against certain matchups, so like against Purple, and you know, you can get rid of a Millenniumon easily, just get rid of like any cards that might give your opponent advantage, uh, maybe Contorismon or something, but that's a really cool effect. We haven't seen a lot of uh, like returning to the bottom of deck effect, um, but that's really cool. Then we finally got the first Sakuyamon. I love Sakuyamon, I love her design, glad we finally got this card and it's probably gonna tell us we're getting you know the Renamon evolution line Renamon, Cubimon, and Taomon and stuff. Um, so she has a very interesting effect where it's an opponent's turn effect, and your opponent's Digimon coming out of the breeding area or the raising area gets security attack minus three. So essentially, anything coming out of that area, like that specific turn, will not be able to attack mo more than likely. So it's a very interesting effect, and then also your opponent's security Digimon get minus three thousand, which is pretty useful considering she's only eleven thousand and a lot of like uh, you know, there, there's a lot of yellow cards like Seraphimon and, you know, Rasielmon who are only like 10,000, so that actually does kind of help. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we've got um, Argomon here. There's another Argomon. First of all, he's got Digisorption or Download Minus 2, so he's only a 2 cost technically. Now, this is a very, very interesting card. This is like a hard counter to a lot of Tamer Focus deck, my favorite deck included. So when Digivolving, you get to suspend all of your opponent's Tamers, and then you're, during like all turns, your opponent can't unsuspend those tamers so like during their active phase it doesn't happen and i don't think there are any digimon who have an effect at least currently in the game that like unsuspends tamers but so this is just puts a stop to like shine Greymon. it puts a stop to like you know the white tamers down here it puts a stop to like all these very tamer focus strategies all force vidramon stuff like that so i thought this is a very interesting card and i'm kind of sad to see even more green support greens just getting more and more ridiculous by the day and then now maybe the craziest card in the set is omnimon's war this is like the evil omnimon right it's it's the fusion of um black metal Gar garumon and black war graymon so we got a digivolving effect 
where you can trash the top three and then play up to two black or purple Digimon to have a play cost or eight or less without paying the cost and and you actually get their when played effect as well so do you know how many uh, let's let's check right now let's let's go purple how many Digimon are there with play cost of eight or less? Okay, I could, you know, all the rookies, Wizardmon, Devimon, Vilemon, Chimeramon with a win, but getting the win played effect from Chimeramon as well. Okay, and it's it's not only just one, it's two. So you can get Chimeramon, you can get something like Raremon, you can get Mummymon, Arukunimon. Um, there's just so many options. Like, it, it's actually a little bit ridiculous. Uh, almost, almost got the Cerberus Mon there. But yeah, this card is just absolutely ridiculous, as well as that, not only does it have that ridiculous effect, you can also return one of its level 6 sources, and delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon that has 12 or lower play cost. That encompasses, like, most level 6s, almost all of them, like, to be honest, a lot of them are 13, but, you know, I mean, we, we literally see, like, Metal Gurumon, Hexablazemon, Z-Greymon, these guys are, like, under 12, Chaos Gallantmon, like, this card is so ridiculous, why does it need to do this much? And no, neither of those effects are like once per turn per se, but y so like in theory, if you had the memory, you could like double Omnimon's Wart and do that multiple times. But yeah, just the one Digivolving effect I think is the craziest part, but then also it's one attacking is pretty ridiculous. But guys, let me know what you guys think of these cards. <laughs> there's there's been lots of awesome cards from um, Battle of Omega reveal so far, and hopefully we just get to see more. I'm excited for the crosswords love. I want to see Omega Shout. Want to see how good he is. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.